What's buzzing everyone? This is SM127, and I'm going to be looking at the 23 sister horror stories that'll make you say, glad it wasn't me. Okay, so let's start- oh, oh wait, wait, guys. Before we start off this compilation, you'll never believe who made a return after f over four months of- Hi! Yes, it's Rhiannon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Shristi is gonna come back at some point, but until then, we also have- there's also Rihanna. But anyway, let's start this. Number one, the nasty surprise. My sister borrowed my sweatpants, took a diarrhea in them, and then put them back in my room. She didn't tell me what happened, and I had to find out when I put them on. Oh. <gasps> uh, yeah. That's yeah, disgusting. She, yeah, she put it on, and that's how she found out. I'm like, I mean, like, it was diarrhea, so I assume it was, like, heavier or something. Like, ugh, what? It wasn't it smelly, wasn't it smelling disgusting? Yeah. Uh, because, that, yeah, okay, that, here, I'm glad I'm an only child. Okay, here, okay, here's the next one. The Sticky Revenge. I pulled a prank on my sister by putting a bowl of syrup on her chest while she slept. Naturally, she turned in her sleep and it got all over the place. So what does she do? She shaves half of my eyebrow the day before my high school dance. The worst part, it took nearly 10 years to grow the thing back. Um, uh, yeah, like, I would kill someone if they did that to me. Yeah, me too, because like, yeah, because like usually when you like shave off your eyebrows, the end will never go back. Or maybe it will, yeah. but it's gonna take like a decade. Like, almost a decade to do it. For number three, the big reveal. My sister and I were swimming in a hotel pool, and she wanted to do the dirty dancing lift. I trusted her, and she leapt into her arms. She then proceeded to pull down my bathing suit bottom and spin me around so everyone could see my butt. To this day, I still don't trust her in the pool. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, now this is the most embarrassing thing that can happen in a pool. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay, and here's number four. The llama takeover. When I was in high school and my sister was 12, she managed to log into my Facebook account and change everything into llamas. My profile picture, cover photo, everything was llamas. My education was llama university, and my work history was Llama Incorporated. All of my recent photos and statuses were llamas. She didn't change my password, and I wasn't able to de-llama my profile for a week until I figured out the new password. <laughs> uh, oh. I bet the password was llama, or something to do with llama. <laughs> yeah, it has to... Yeah, like, yeah, like, you should figure out the password. Like, your username, llama, your... <laughs> everything is llamas. The name of the school you go to is Llama, and you have a president named Llama, and a mayor of the school named Llama Llama. <laughs> yeah, but that's not as bad as the other ones, though. Okay, so, <laughs> alright, so number five, the numb discovery. When my sister was in dental school, she came home with a sample of numbing cream. She saw me and told me to try this lip gloss that she got, and then proceeded to put it on me. I didn't notice anything peculiar until she stuck it into my mouth. My entire mouth was numb the rest of the evening. Oh, no. Okay, like, it, okay, like, if someone were to do that to me, I, I, okay, like, I, I don't know what I would do, but it's not gonna be pretty. Yeah. Okay, then long walk home. I was at a local park with my sister and her guy crush. My mom had made her bring me along. I kept telling her that I had to poop and she kept telling me to hold it. Well, eventually I pooped in my pants. It was only then that she painfully agreed to take me home. I had to walk block after block waddling so the chunks of stool won't smush together or touch me more than necessary. Ew. Yeah, that's the most embarrassing thing that could ha Wow. Like, yeah, like, imagine, like, having... Imagine, like, having a long walk home and you really need to pee. But, okay, like, okay, before we move, what is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you? Like, what is the last time you peed your pants that was really embarrassing? 
Probably when I was like three. I don't really remember. Oh, like the embarrassing. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, gonna... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we all have that embarrassing part. Like, it could have been worse. Like, you could have been, like, say, like, in, a, like, a singing, in, like, a singing, like, recital or something in school, and you could be standing at, and you're standing at the main stage, and you're one of the main people of the stage, and you really have to pee, and then you're like, okay, I'll run and pee after I'm done with it, after I'm done with my turn, after we're done singing the national anthem, and then you start singing... And then by the time you reach the middle of the song, you can't control it anymore, and you pee on the stage. And everyone laughs at you. It was embarrassing when I had to go on stage with Miss o with, like, the Casalta concert and Miss O'Reilly. Oh, yeah. Okay, because, let's... like, none of us could really sing. We, I mean, we, we were forced to do it, literally. So, like, yeah, we were just, like, yeah. Okay, anyway, the next... Bad. Okay, anyway, next one. The lunchbox surprise. When I was younger, I had a bad habit of leaving my dirty panty liners in my underwear when I did laundry. My sister always complained about finding soggy panty liners in the washer, and I promised I would try to remember to remove them. But I rarely did. One day in middle school, as I was opening up my lunchbox in front of all my classmates... I find roughly 20 soggy used panty liners in my lunchbox, placed there by my loving, caring sister. <laughs> wow. Yeah, like, you know, like imagine someone... Okay, now imagine, so, imagine finding that in your lunchbox. <laughs> Just period blood. Yeah, like, ew. Your lunchbox. Yeah, it's more like a lunch period box. <laughs> Okay, the white lie. After losing my first tooth, my sister convinced me there was a hair fairy too. Naturally, I chopped most of my hair off right before bed and stuck it under my pillow. I had bald spots for months. That's awful. Yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, like what's that next? That might <clears throat> even be worse than the eyebrow one. Yeah. Isn't the eyebrow one like yeah, that's, bad? It, but yeah. you but like you could also fill in your eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, like so. at least yeah, like at least you could get them done. But if you have like bald stop bald spots in your hair, like that's not good. You could wear a wig. Yeah, that's yeah, you can also do that too, or just wear a wig, yeah. yeah Number guess. nine, the one hit okay. wonder. When I was in ninth grade, I started singing Fleetwood Max, the chain in the shower. When my sister comes in and secretly records me, I am a terrible singer, like really bad. She then played it in front of the guy I had a major crush on, as well as a million other people. I was mortified. That's horrible. Oh, wow, someone records you in the sh someone records you singing, especially in the shower. That's embarrassing. And I'm and glad. I'm glad I'm an only child. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm not an only child, and no one records me in the shower because they know better than that. Okay, now for number yeah. ten. My sister and I would go to the local arcade to win cool prizes when we were younger. One day, we came home once with very real-looking but fake sets of handcuffs. When my parents went to work, she took me out to the end of our street and handcuffed my arms around a stop sign. Oh... Yeah, as if she was a police officer. A police woman, I should say. <laughs> wow. wow. Pretending to be a police officer. Honestly, <laughs> but if she, if she, like, left her there long enough, like, she could get kidnapped. Yeah, like... If she's, like, handcuffed to a stop sign. Because, like, who knows? That could be, like, that could be, like, a nine or ten year old. Yeah. Okay, now for number 11. The backfired prank. We were at a crowded Chinese restaurant with my family, and my older sister told me her wasabi was pistachio ice cream. Being a naive 11-year-old, I took a huge scoop of the wasabi and scarfed it down. Two seconds later, I started crying because it was wicked spicy. In the end, I was one who got in trouble for making too much noise in the restaurant. 
submitted by is Asperger. The, no. Is this person British? Because she said it was wicked spite. Like that sounds like something. <laughs> That's all. That, I don't think I've yeah, ever that, heard any American say that. Yeah, I don't yeah, I've never, yeah, I've never heard anyone say that. Well, okay, now I feel like. Yeah, I okay, don't know. Okay, I feel no, like that's British slang, because I yeah. feel like I've heard that before. Yeah. But, like, in, like, an Australian show or British show or something. Oh, okay. Now anyway, for, okay, now not for number, as bad okay, as the other ones, okay, at now least. For, okay, so. now for number 12. Oh, no, it's another toilet one. Wow. Okay, when I was about one or two, my older sisters thought it would be a good idea to see if I could float. Instead of, oh, instead of trying to, instead of trying it in a pool like normal people, they put me in a toilet and then flushed. Needless to say, they were unsuccessful. Oh. <laughs> wow. She could kill her. She could literally exactly. kill her. Exactly. She and could And they're better you know, not, they're better not than any... Held used to hold her little sister's head underwater. What? what really? She didn't die, but the parents caught her, but still, like, she she could have literally killed her. Like, yeah. Yeah, it could have been worse. I just can't yeah. believe it. Well, and, okay, and, and, and the toilet, really? Okay, there better not have been any tinkles in there. Ew. Yeah. Because, like, because, like that would be even more disgusting, sticking your head in that while there's lemonade in there. Yeah. Okay, number 13. The inappropriate thing. At my sister's wedding, I concluded my maid of honor speech by quoting, and I'm sorry for making that time you got diarrhea. Oh no, another one. In Barnes and Noble, some genius captured a photo of that very moment, making it probably the best and worst day of her life, since roughly 90% of her guests did not understand the fact that I was making a Mean Girls reference and actually thought that that she pooped her brains out at the bookstore. I almost cussed there. Thank goodness I dodged it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't get the Mean Girls reference. I don't. That I don't remember that scene being the Mean Girls. Okay, number fourteen. The evil. Oh wait. I kind of, no, no, never mind. Okay, number fourteen. The evil surprise. In third grade. My sister emptied my lunchbox with human food and filled it with dog food. I didn't know until lunchtime. Ew. Uh, That's so disgusting. Why would you fill it with... Like, it's not you... as bad as the panty liner one. Yeah, that's... Yeah, like, that one is even worse. Like, because, yeah. like... Yeah, because, it's just like, dog food. Yeah, yeah, at least it's like... At, at least it's like edible, but with but with that last one with the panty liner, you would basically have like period blood in your lunchbox. Yeah. Like, like, oh, uh, like people would look at it at like, like, uh, okay. Anyway, next one, number fifteen, the brace face incident. This happened around the time I had just gotten braces. I guess I was talking a lot or something, because my sister wanted me to shut up. I wouldn't be quiet, so I grabbed a stick of deodorant and rubbed it against my braces. It took hours to get it out, and my mouth felt like you'd imagine it would feel covered in deodorant. Uh. <laughs> wow, like, <laughs> like who, like who brushes their teeth with deodorant? I guess. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's bad. Yeah, only it's not that. that bad, yeah, bad. only that girl. Wow, another P one. Wow, number sixteen. The surprise P. My family was staying at a hotel on a road trip, and my sister and I went to the pool, which is typically the highlight of our stay. The pool, however, was extremely cold, but we were determined to have fun, so we got in. Unbeknownst to me, my sister peed into the pool and convinced me she had found a warm spot. I stuck my face and stood in her filthy pee water for a good ten minutes. Ew. No. <laughs> I was literally, I would kill her. No. Yeah, that's so gross. That's disgusting. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, like everybody out at the pool. Okay. That's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't just do that. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, 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 I mean, like, in the ocean, in the beach, at least it cleans itself, but in the pool, 
Ugh. Yeah, you might as well do it in the ocean at the beach. Yeah. Okay, number 17. The tampon proclamation. I had a female emergency at school and ran into my sister's locker to see if she had a tampon. Being the lovely sister she is, she shouted down the hallway, Hey, does anyone have a tampon? My sister is bleeding through her khakis. <laughs> uh, my sister is bleeding through her khakis. Wow. Well, bleeding for wow, and she said it out loud so everyone could hear it. I mean, I guess having your period is nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. It's like natural. Yeah. But still, yeah. you know. Yeah, girls, it's a part of growing up. Okay, now yeah. for number eighteen, the unsweet revenge. When I was ten, my sister was in high school. One day, she had some friends over, a couple of hot guys, and I was in the kitchen wearing sweatpants. I wanted to impress her friends, so I started making fun of her. She got really angry in return, or was in return, pulled my pants with my underwear down in front of them. I started crying and ran into my room. After that, I wouldn't come out when she had friends over. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, if, uh, that's bad. Yeah, that is really bad. Like, yeah, like you, yeah, like someone pulling another, someone pantsing another person, and scaring them out of like seeing their friends ever again. Okay. Yeah. Nineteen. The sticky situation. When I was little, I sat in some gum at the airport. It got stuck into my jeans and wouldn't come off. Not only did my mum bend me over while she tried to pick it off my bum. But my charming sister grabbed the video camera and started taping it. I was crying. My mom was picking up the gum, and sister was repetitively screaming, chewing gum bomb. We still have the tape somewhere. Wow, Samantha Louise, wow. <laughs> Wait, you're there? Yeah. Yeah, but the, yeah, but the sticky situation, wow. Yeah. Yeah, like, why would someone do that and, like, sit on a seat with, like, gum in it? Like, did you not look at it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's mean. Yeah. Okay, 20. The missed opportunity. Once my family and I were at the pool. While I was swimming, a couple of hot guys asked my sister for my name so that, so they could talk to me. My sister told them my name was Gertrude, which was a lie. They kept yelling my name, which, but obviously I didn't answer. They thought I was ignoring them the whole time. Uh. Oh. <laughs> wow, number 21. A gift of gifting. When I was in middle school, my older sister found out that I bought myself a thong while at the mall with my friends. She decided to buy me more for Christmas and made me open a whole box of them in front of everyone, including my dad and my brother-in-law. I was mortified. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I don't well. really know why you would do that. <laughs> yeah, like, why would you do that? Uh, yeah, again, I'm glad I don't have a sibling or a sister, especially. Girls are mean, too. Yeah. So, I'm glad I don't... Yeah, sometimes girls can be mean, too. I'm like... I'm like so far I've already like reacted with like two like girls so far and not and none of those are mean. Like one of them is you and another one is Tristy, which I only reacted with once on June of two, on June of this year. But don't worry guys, she's gonna come back soon. It's not been cancelled. But anyway, twenty two, the concerned sibling. One time I came home to visit, but I was on my period. I used the restroom and I guess the toilet didn't flush all the way because my eight-year-old sister came running out of the bathroom after me. In front of my whole family, oh, she exclaimed... Wait. Uh, Mario... 20... I... You, like, froze for... I, you, like, went silent for a minute. <clears throat> oh, wait, wait, what? Okay. Okay, like, anyway. Uh. Okay, anyway. One time I came home to visit, but I was on my period. 
I used the restroom and I guess the toilet didn't flush all the way because my eight-year-old sister came running out of the bathroom after me. In front of my whole family, she exclaimed that there was bloody toilet paper in the toilet. I was mortified. Uh, yeah, wow. That... I, I guess she didn't know because like, it was an accident. Yeah. And she didn't really understand. I don't know. Okay. Okay, 23, and this is the last one, the not-so-helping hand. Over time, my sister was using the bathroom and ran out of toilet paper. She kept yelling, asking me to get her some, but naturally, as her older sister, I kept responding, what? And acting like I didn't hear her. After a few times, she yelled, if I have to ask one more time, I'ma wipe my butt all on the floor. I obviously thought she was kidding, so I responded with, what? She then came running with her pants down, and rubbed her bare, dirty butt on the carpet floor. Lesson learned. Ew. Yeah, this, yeah, this honestly is the most messed up one out of all of these 23. Yeah. Yeah, and which one shocked you the most? The girl who cut her hair off. Oh, <laughs> wow. And the girl who shaved her eyebrow. Oh, that was also like, shocking. Okay, like, I didn't find anything... maple syrup, you can just wash up. Wash mm. off, but, like, mm. the eyebrow. And that's practically permanent. Like, it could have never... Some eyebrows, like, never grow back. Yeah, like... Yeah, like, the end will never grow back in that case. But, the, yeah, but the one that I was the most shocked about and most disgusted was the one with her wiping her butt on her floor. Yeah, that was gross too. Yeah, like what? Yeah, like why would anyone do this? I don't know. <laughs> okay, but anyway, that's the end. We made it to all through all twenty three. So, thank you so much for watching this, and keep liking, commenting, and subscribing.